Welcome to Famous Fortunes. I hope you are well. Today we are going to have a slight change of pace and we're going to turn our attention to Britney Spears. Having a few comments coming through asking to read on this particular issue and read we will on the Britney Spears saga. So if you have a question for a future video, let us know in the comments below. If you would like to support the channel, go ahead and join Team Famous Fortunes. First up, we are gonna ask, how does Britney Spears feel about what is happening with her at the moment? And then perhaps we may look at it from her father's perspective. And then perhaps we may look at, will she win her freedom? Will she secure her freedom? Will she find freedom? Finding freedom. <laughs> Maybe there's a collab in there somewhere. Who knows? Let's go ahead and have a look. How does Britney Spears feel about this particular issue? Where is she at? Where is she at? Alright, the cards are hot. Let's have a look. We have the Chariot. We have the Three of Cups. The Two of Swords. The Tower. Ooh. And the Five of Wands. The underlying energy here is the Judgment card. So, hmm. Okay, this is... Uh, pretty epic. So she feels very, very, mm, very blocked at the moment, very restrained, very restricted, really a feeling of she can't move forward here with the two of swords in particular. She just, she just can't move. She feels locked in. She just, she just can't do anything. She really feels that this is a a very, a very big, it's a disaster for her. This is what she's feeling. This, this whole situation is a disaster for her, a disaster for her life. And there seems to be an, an air here of lasting conflict on the cards. Sort of she's bound now to conflict, unfortunately. Hmm. This um, it's interesting judgment is the underlying energy because that's exactly what we see. A judgment has been placed upon her. She has been judged. And now she is living with the consequences. So this, make no mistake, this is causing her pain and suffering, trauma even here with the tower. Trauma, traumatic experience, unfortunately. Although, there's no actually, there's no although. The... The shining light here is the, the chariot because she, amongst all of this trauma, amongst all of this garbage that she's going through, is maintaining the... F she's staying in the fight. She's maintaining uh, the will to succeed here with the chariot. So, you know, credit is due where credit is due. And this is... Certainly a time when the Jews need to be paid with the chariot. So, you know, good on her for sticking it out and maintaining focus. Maintaining focus on the task at hand, even though all of this is happening. You can see here with the Three of Cups, there's an element of... An element of third parties involved in her life that are involved where they really shouldn't be here. They shouldn't be involved, but she's involved with them and she doesn't want to be involved with them. But they're stuck now in her life and she does not, obviously she's working her utmost to, uh, to, to, to free herself from this situation. She's working her utmost. What is the path of freedom? That's the question I have now. What does the path of freedom look like? How can she achieve freedom? That is a question I'm going to ask here in a moment. 
How can she achieve freedom? Very, very interesting question. But yeah, this is this is not good. This is a very this is a very hard time. Very difficult time. Very traumatic experience. Lasting conflict on the cards. Not something that you want to see in your life. So this is a major, a major challenge for her. Hmm. This would be certainly a trying time for anyone in this situation. So hats off to her for maintaining resilience. All right. Before we go and have a look at the path to freedom, let's ask how does her... What's the legal word? Conservator? Uh, how does her father feel about this? What is the other side? And it's interesting, even in the article, I'm just I'm just reading here as I flick over to it. This cons- She says, Britney Spears, quote, this conservative, conservative ship, cons- conservative, conservative, click off the video now, <laughs> click off the video, I cannot say it. This conservatorship is doing me way more harm than good, she says. I deserve to have a life. Well, I can see the harm it's doing on the video. I, I, I can see the harm it's doing on the cards in this episode, in this video. I can see the harm. We can all see the harm, right? What does her father, Jamie Spears, what does he think here? This is kind of a father archetype gone wrong potentially let's find out let's find out that's my first thought what does the father think of all this If you're a fan, go ahead and let us know in the comments below. Cards are hot. Let's have a look. What do we got? The Hermit, Page of Cups, King of Cups, Six of Cups, Ace of Swords, Underlying Energy, Ten of Swords. All right. Okay. So we do have... We do have here... An interesting dynamic on the cards. There's a few things here that are very, very interesting because we've got the the King of Cups and the Page of Cups. So the Father archetype, in a way, is coming up in terms of the King of Cups. The central energy here. So he can, from the Tarot's perspective, the Tarot is saying there's a there's a King and Page relationship, or you could say a Father and Child relationship here in terms of the father's mindset so i mean i would ask the question is that appropriate for a woman that is how old i I don't want to say without knowing exactly how old britney spears is at this point in time uh i did let's find out i'm curious now how old are you britney She is 39 years old. She turns 40 on the 2nd of December this year. So in any event, for a 39-year-old woman, having a parent-child relationship seems to be questionable. Would you find that questionable or do you think that's acceptable? Well, it depends on your point of view, as a Sith Lord once said. In any event... He seems to, the hermit here, he wants to stay out of the spotlight. He doesn't want attention. So is that a weakness on his part? Huh, maybe. He wants all the control, but none of the attention, it seems. Because you've got the Ten of Swords. This is a highly, to say, controlling card, absolutely. He wants to shut down possibilities. He wants to, uh, he wants to put a definite ending to something here. There's a, there's a, Yeah, not good. I don't get good vibes of this Ten of Swords. I'm not getting I'm not getting super good vibes here, just so you know. I'm not getting them. It seems to be a little bit of a hmm. 
Mm. I might have to sit on that one for a little bit because there's something here that shouldn't be seeing. We shouldn't be seeing that. I don't like that card. Uh, and I'm not super, super excited about it in this particular reading. You know, it's it's probably... It's probably speaking to the fact that he has gone through a lot of pain, perhaps. Pain and anguish. Pain and suffering. Pain and suffering. This could be speaking to the pain and suffering he's felt here in this relationship. You can see here in the Six of Cups, in this relationship. You know, so he, he, he definitely feels that. That pain and suffering... I think that's what I'm going to go with here. Pain and suffering for, for old King O. For the King of Cups, pain and suffering is on the cards. Obviously very nostalgic about the relationship here with the Six of Cups as well. A lot of nostalgia, a lot of maybe concern for the children even, question mark. You know, put, throw that in there. Is he concerned for his grandchildren perhaps? Is he concerned? That may be what he is. Maybe his concern here. The Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords. He definitely... Well, the tarot is indicating there's a desire for victory. So, there is a desire to... Even a desire for triumph here. Is uh, The question I have, if you're watching this video... If you're watching this episode of Famous Fortunes, is a desire for triumph and victory appropriate? Hmm. I'm not sure I can comment because I'm just a tarot reader. <laughs> I'm not sure I can comment. How would I know? All I can do is try to read the energies on the cards. So, yeah, that's what I'm seeing on the cards. So... Pain and suffering. You know, can you let pain and suffering that you've experienced or experienced in the past, potentially, what I'm seeing here, can you let that, can you let that experience of pain, whatever you've experienced, control the future and, and ignite a desire for, for, for victory and for for maintaining uh, the high ground, maintaining the, to win over your daughter. That's what I'm seeing on the card. So it's a question I have for you, Team Famous Fortunes. Let us know in the comments below. Let us know. All right. How is it possible for, for Britney Spears to achieve success here? How is it possible to win freedom at this point? I'm going to ask that before I'm going to ask, is she actually going to achieve freedom? That'll be the final reading. So bonus reading right now. How is it possible for her to secure freedom? Finding freedom. Part, well, it wouldn't be part two now. It'd be part three. <laughs> collab, collab me up. Let's go. All right. How is it possible for Britney Spears to achieve freedom? What do you think she could do? Let us know in the comments below. All right, cards are hot. Let's see what the tarot has in store for us. We have the Page of Cups again, the King of Cups again, the Page of Pentacles, the Emperor, and... The Four of Cups, underlying energy here, the Three of Swords. You know, it's amazing to me, the Tarot, because we've just pulled the same two cards, essentially, as the previous reading on how does the Father feel. So you know straight away, the key to freedom lies in the Father's feelings. So let that be known. I'm not seeing a very good omen for the final reading on will she secure her freedom at this stage. So let that be known. 
It seems that we have one, with the Emperor and the Four of Cups, we have one disappointed daddy on the cards. One disappointed daddy. Bitterly disappointed. Hmm. I have absolutely no idea what's caused this. Just so you know, I have no idea what the history is here. And that would not be my place to know anyway, and to comment, but I can read cards. So in any event, Page of Cups, King of Cups, this father-child relationship is key to this. The disappointment he experiences is key to this. The heartbreak he is experiencing is key to this, but it's going to be something to do with her... Uh, his grand grand grandchildren essentially that's what it is it's the it's going to be with the page of pentacles i'm going to go ahead and say it's something to do with the key lies in some arrangement with the uh his grandchildren something like that would be the key to to unlocking this problem hmm Hmm. I wonder, I wonder, this is a very, very tricky situation here. Very tricky situation Britney Spears has found herself in. Very, very tricky. Hmm. What to do, what to do. Maybe, uh, you know what? It could be to do with, this page of pentacles could be grandchildren, but it could also be to do with the money or the wealth a certain uh, young one has. Could be Brittany. Could be Brittany or it could be her other children. Uh, it's hard to say from this particular card, but it seems like money might be creeping into this a little bit. <laughs> money might be coming into this, just a touch. Uh, there's an element of that with the pentacles here. So, hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting times ahead. All right, let's go ahead and ask the final bonus question. Final question, right? Will Britney Spears find freedom? Will she break free of the bonds of conservatorship? Will she do it? Is that on the cards? Pentacles, but let's see what happens. Let's not jump to conclusions. All right, cards are hot. What do we have? Five of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, Two of Swords, the Devil, Ten of Swords, underlying energy, the Page of Pentacles. Again, the Page of Pentacles comes out. And the Two of Swords. I... Uh, oh, boy. Now, Team Famous Fortunes, just have a look at this and, and soak this one in for a moment. Because the vibe of these cards tends to foreshadow the answer. <laughs> I have some... Mm, this is a bad omen for Britney Spears. Mm. This is a bad omen, all right? This is not a good omen for the future. The devil talks about being stuck here in this particular uh, arrangement. The, the devil here is... She's going to... Yeah, the devil here is an omen that she's going to remain stuck in this arrangement. Stuck in a stalemate with the two of 
Swords. We saw this earlier. That was the card she's in at the moment. That's where she's at now. It looks like where she's going to be in the future. The Devil. Mm. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, again, that's not a good omen. Walking away. <sighs> Worse for wear, financially even. Ten of Swords. That's another bad omen. Put this to bed. This might be put to bed here. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Damn. Not seeing, I'm not seeing a good omen for this outcome, unfortunately. I wish I had better news on the cards, but I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it for Britney Spears on the cards at this time. I'm not seeing it. When I when we looked at that reading about what would be the key to her freedom, that was a prelude to this reading in a way. I, I did see that at the time and it didn't look good. Yeah, I did see it. I saw it on those cards. This this does not look good. Yeah, even if the arrangement the arrangement could be, you never know, it could be modified slightly, but it still could be very restrictive and binding. So with the devil. The devil's in the details, as they say. The devil's in the details. Mm, not looking too good. Let us know in the comments below what you think. Remember, I am just a tarot reader. At the end of the day, I can only read the omens and the signs and indications on the cards as they come up. As they come up. So, did you expect this outcome? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, I'll see you in the comment section.